What's up, everybody? Crash here. Welcome back to Crash Against the Spread, where we talk about sports from a betting perspective. Um, coming off a good day yesterday, uh, playing against our parlay. Uh, the parlay did not hit. The only thing we missed in it was the over uh, in the Golden State game. Uh, but we played against it. We had the under 227 live. And we still had Golden State to win out, right? Because that was the game we were watching. So cash pretty big live on the uh, playing against our parlay. Uh, but definitely had uh, about four or five uh, winning picks on the screen for you yesterday. So uh, one in or four and one we go, we'll say, um, on to today. Um, we have seven games to go over. Uh, I do have a uh, another parlay. If you stick around, I'll show you that at the end. Uh, but I just want to go over each one real quick. Uh, Rockets Pacers. Uh, Rockets are seven point uh, underdogs on the road uh, to the Pacers. Last game they played was on uh, December twenty sixth. The Pacers won that one one twenty three one seventeen in Houston. Uh, now in Indiana, uh, both these teams, uh, two and three in their last five, uh, round even for their uh, against the spread record in their last ten. I would lean under for this game. Uh, Pacers have been a high-scoring team for the most of the season, but recently they've been playing defense pretty well, and we know Houston is a defensive team. And this number right now is all the way at 242, that up from 237. So the public has bet this number up. Looking at the injury report, uh, Van Fleet is out. Eason is out for the Rockets. Jalen Smith and Halliburton are game time decisions for the Pacers. Um, this last game got to 240. I think this one goes well under the total. Um, so under 242 and a half is my first pick for the Pacers Rockets game. Mavs and Nets, second game up. Both these teams are on a back to back. Uh, first game was 120 to 125. Mavs win in Dallas. Uh, Mavs only two and eight in the last 10 games. I would lead. I would lean to the Mavs here after watching the Nets play last night. Uh, they came out, you know, pretty good, pretty uh, energetic at least, very competitive, but let the uh, Golden State Warriors walk them down, and they uh, couldn't get a stop towards the end of the game. Mavs, everybody was on the injury report. Uh, I think Luka played last night. They beat the 76ers. Um, I'm I'm not going to bet this game, but I would lean I would lean Mavs, but both teams are on the back to back. Uh, Grizzlies Knicks uh, Knicks are 14 and a half point favorites at home. I can really only look to the Knicks. Um, they're four and one in their last five games. Grizzlies are zero and five. Um, I tried to uh, bet the Grizzlies the other night with the Celtics uh, at plus 18 and a half. They got beat by 40. So, uh, staying off this one, not even going to try. Um, Ananobi is still out for the Knicks. So, it's possible totals all the way down to 213. So, they're expecting a very low scoring game anyway. Uh, next game up Magic Heat. These two teams uh, both play in Florida. So, big brother, little brother scenario. Uh, I'd lean under the 212. Uh, the first meeting was 115 106 in uh, Orlando. The Heat won that one. The next two meetings have been way under this total. Uh, next game was the Heat win in Miami, 96 99. And the next game after that was a Magic win in Orlando, 87 105. So I'd lean under the 212. Um, for this game, uh, Magic have been playing a better basketball. They're 4-1 in their last um, 
five heat or two and three in their last five after coming off a seven game losing streak um, also coming off a loss to the Clippers at home most recently so lean magic lean under but um, I don't have anything for this game right now Timberwolves at Bulls uh, Bulls are five point underdogs at home uh, I would lean towards the Timberwolves on this one uh, they are three and two in their last five, uh, kind of five and five even in their last uh, ten. Uh, also, the Bulls against the spread are even in their last ten, five and five. Uh, both these teams have a similar uh, road home record. Uh, straight up, the Timberwolves are sixteen and ten, whereas straight up at home, the Bulls are fourteen and twelve. So, uh, pretty close. Uh, this is their first meeting this year. I would lean Timberwolves um, at the five, but I have them um, money line in the parlay. So um, that's my pick for that one. Uh, Thunder at Jazz. Jazz are three point underdogs at home. Totals at 240, bet down from 243 and a half. Each of these meetings has gone over 250. Uh, for these two teams this year. The first game was a Thunder win in OKC, 120 to 134. The next one was a Thunder win in Utah, 134 to 129. So Utah does have the revenge, uh, two times revenge over the season. Thunder are coming off a, a double overtime game to the Toronto Raptors two days ago. <clears throat> um, if I were betting the spread, I would lean to the Jazz. Um, they've been playing a better ball at home recently, and they have the revenge angle. Uh, but I like the over better, over 240. So that'll be my pick for this one. Um, last game up is the Bucks and Suns. Uh, Bucks are three and a half point underdogs to the Suns in Phoenix. Totals at 243 and a half. This is their first meeting this year. Um, I do not want to bet the Bucks right now. Uh, Suns seem to be on the better track to the Bucks. I'm just going to blindly say Suns minus three and a half. And uh, hope they pull out another win at home for us. Uh, Bucks lost their last one to Utah. And I think that was on the road. Let's see if they're on this road trip. Okay, so they are on a road trip. Been there for the last four games. This is their fifth game on the road here. And the Suns, it's their first game back after a little road uh, trip. So... Uh, would, would only look to the Suns here. This is their first meeting this year, like I said. And uh, no thoughts on the total. So, Suns, that one. Uh, the over in the Jazz and Thunder game. Uh, Timberwolves. Lean to the five and a half. Like the money line better. And... Um, the under and the Rockets Pacers game. So those are going to be my official picks. Um, and that is what is in the uh, parlay. The under and the Rockets game, the over and the Thunder game, Suns money line, Timberwolves money line. So lock those in. Let's get this money. And uh, we will see you back here tomorrow for some more NBA talk. Talk to you then.